Hey Sandy, you've been one of my first subscribers on my first channel and on the second one as well, and I really appreciate you as a person. But even people I like, I tend to um, disagree with them on points that I don't find valid. And in this video, I just found it necessary to respond to some of your points, so I'm just going to address them one by one as you say them. Hey guys, Healthy Addict's video about sexism kind of got me thinking. I've noticed that the more attractive you are, especially if you're a girl on YouTube, the more views you'll get. Sorry, but... Um, attractive people tend to get more views no matter which sex they belong to. And I think you notice the girls just because you're being subjective about it. Um, I'm really sorry. Um, I feel a need to criticize you because I do think that you are, in fact, somebody who is willing to change their mind about things and view things from a different perspective. So, anyway, I think that statement is... A little bit close-minded and subjective you need to think about it this way attractive people get more views the girls don't get more views because they're attractive some girls might get more views because of the, the cleavages they wear but that's totally different because men can't really show their their dick on camera that's why you don't see guys on YouTube showing their cock around and if they would be able to, I, I can bet you that they would have many, many views as well. Now, I know that some people watch my videos because they like my face. And there's not a whole lot I can do about that. The only thing that I can do as a responsible individual is to try and make good videos with content. Um... I think that if I made good videos with content and people only watch my videos because they like the way that I look, I think that would be a problem. Um, could you explain why you think that would be a problem? Why do you think people who are attracted to you is problematic? I would personally take it as a compliment if people would watch my videos because of the way I look. Now, I understand that you would much prefer people to um, take a liking to you intellectually and not, and not physical attraction. But, nonetheless, I don't see a problem with that. Some people like attractive girls. There's nothing wrong with being attracted to somebody. And if you are attracted to somebody, why the hell not to watch their videos because they're attractive? You can't expect everybody to take a liking to your intellect and not to your appearance. Being good looking is not a curse, it's just the way you look at it that makes it feel feel like a curse. Anyway, um, like I said, I don't see the problem with that. I think that this kind of way of thinking kind of reminds me a little bit of Rebecca Watson and I'm really sorry I have to compare you to that bitch but um, in this in this line of reasoning you do have some similarities with their way of thinking now I want to say that most of us are sexist just like most of us have some racial bias well it's true that some of us are, are have racial biases and some of us are sexist, but I think that you're trying to use it as an excuse to be so yourself. I remember having a conversation with you about why you wanted to be a, a, a doctor or get into medical school or, or even psychology because you think that there should be more black doctors. And I remember myself disagreeing with you on that because there should be more doctors, period. What does it matter which race they belong to? I think that it, it, you take comfort in the fact that there are more people who have racial biases, but that doesn't excuse you from needing to think over your own biases and correct them. It's possible to change your mind about things, and there's no reason for you to be lazy about doing so. I think it's important to work on your own attributes and qualities and work on your way of thinking and correct yourself when you know that there's something wrong with your way of thinking. 
And uh, about sexism, yes, uh, um, sexism exists. But if a sexist is, tru is truly willing to call himself uh, um, a responsible and intellectual person, they must examine their own way of thinking. They need to change themselves. I used to grow up in a very bigoted environment because I used to be an Orthodox Jew and Judaism is possibly the most racist um, religion of them all. Because in Judaism, you cannot be a Jew unless you're born one. So, anyway, I, I used to be homophobic, I used to be racist, and I used to be a terrible bigot, you have no idea. But. I had to think it over a lot, and I like to think. That's prob probably my favorite thing to do. I like to spend a lot of time thinking. So I've thought all this over, and I changed my way of thinking. I'm now not even the slightest bit racist, and not the slightest bit sexist. I believe in true equality, which means both sexes are equal in every aspect of the wit, in every aspect, and all races are equal. Races, for me, aren't even really something that exists. A skin color is just a different color. It does not mean we're different people or we belong to different groups. Um, it's not something that we can fix overnight. But I think it's good to be aware of it. It's good to be aware of it. It's even better to actually work on changing it. sexism at times. I like chivalry. Um, I'm not sure if chivalry is always bad. Yes, it is always bad because it's an innocent form of sexism, but it is sexism nonetheless. Um, I don't know if you recall, but in my grinds my what grinds my gears tag video, I actually said that I, one of the things that pisses me off more than anything is when guys change their behavior when they're around girls. I don't like this kind of thing, this double standard. I mean, if you you should try to be who you really are, regardless of the person who you're in front of. I had to work a lot on changing my personality into removing every bit of ego or masks that I would put on when I'm facing a certain person. I think that's the best way to to uh, be yourself, to be yourself all the time. So yes, I think it is bad. Chivalry is bad because it it, it says for, to a certain degree that girls deserve certain treatment. And yeah, that is sexist. Um, I like for guys to open doors for me, and when I go on a date, for a guy to act like a gentleman, because it shows that he's trying to show some respect. I'm sorry, but that doesn't show that he's trying to show some respect. What it is showing is that he is so um, he is so into you that he would probably do anything. Even throwing away his own personality just in order to be with you or in order to show you a good impression. And that is just horrible. I might not be the, the world's greatest gentleman, but I'm not aspiring to be. I found out that many girls, if not most of the girls I've been with, have taken a, have taken a liking to me especially because I am who I am all the time. I am who I am no matter who I'm around. I, I don't treat girls any different than I treat guys. For me, girls are guys. They're the same thing. So I, I cannot bring myself to be a gentleman or behave differently next to a girl. I would use profanity. I would, I would behave exactly the way I would always behave. And that's the way I think that everybody should behave. Now, my first question, well, I never, usually when I think to myself, I don't think, oh, is he being sexist? I usually think, why is he being so nice? You know, like, what does he want? But eventually, you can kind of figure out what a guy's about, you know, based on other things, and it's time to Well, this line of thinking 
what does he want what is what are his true intentions that is one of the more sexist things that I heard from you ever and you think that guys have um, uh, certain intentions or, or like nasty thoughts when they're being polite to you or, or being chivalrous now it might be true in many cases but still you are profiling them because they are men and I don't really like that but I mean as far as chivalry is concerned I see it as him showing a sign of respect if he was not showing any chivalry at all if he wasn't chivalrous at all then I would I would kind of be like why is he so rude I'm sorry, but people behaving the way they do all the time, or the way they, they do when they're around their friends who they're not interested in romantically, does not mean that they're rude. It means that they are who they are. They're behaving themselves. So, uh, I, I think that this is a quality of yours that you need to work on to change. You need to be able to understand that chivalry is a form of sexism. It, it, it does have... Um, sometimes hidden intentions behind them. It would be better if it didn't exist. Which might be kind of sad, because, I mean, a guy should be able to court you without having to do all these things for you. But at the same time, he is courting you. He's trying to impress you. So, you know, naturally he's going to do those things that he thinks that women want. Um, I don't know. I'd like to know what you guys think about this whole issue, I guess. So, like I said, I think there, uh, the points I brought up here are important to consider and think about. And, um, yeah, I, um, they're trying to leave a good impression on you by being extremely polite, but there's only one case in which I can justify people not behaving themselves and that is when they are on a job interview because when you're at work you don't really have to be who you really are because it's not like you have any um, social intentions at work even though even at work I usually behave myself but again on job interviews they have to be fake I have to put on masks I have to pretend and that is not something that I, I look upon positively. So again, in a summary, my points were men and women who are good looking get more views. Women on YouTube who have um, cleavages get more views because you can't, you know, you can't have cleavage of a guy's dick. And about chivalry, I think it's absolutely bad. It should be completely removed from society it's a form of sexism and and it goes against equality if you don't treat everybody the same way then you are sexist and racism exactly the same point um, racial biases because they exist doesn't excuse anybody from needing to try to work on it you know you can take comfort in the fact that there are other people like that but it's still not a solution uh, so yeah and and again I really like your videos I like you as a person and I really respect you and I wouldn't make this response if I would not think there's a chance you would think it over and 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 that it would get through because it's not a pony style video I, I just want to share my my opinions with you about and what I thought about your points.